Welcome to our session. I'm Nancy Ruther, founder and principal of Gazelle International. Hi, I'm Alexa Jeffress, and I am the Click Teaching and Learning Coordinator. And I'm Sarah Rabke, and I am this year's virtual learning liaison. So our goals for today are multiple. We want to look how the COVID global pandemic altered student perspectives in our virtual exchange programs. We're going to do this looking at student responses to pre and post surveys, all self-reported, and compare student data from the COVID semesters with three years before COVID, most particularly looking, thinking about what students found most challenging and rewarding and how it could look look how it could shift the future of virtual exchange, how we think about it. So what is virtual exchange and CLIC? We call Gazelle International System for Virtual Exchange, CLIC, Collaborative Learning for International Capabilities and Knowledge, CLIC. Teachers in two countries join their classrooms using technology, problem and project-based learning and intercultural communication. We help teachers create a third learning space where students work together in international teams to solve a problem or produce a final project. We're excited to share our 2020 results, two full semesters clicking in COVID, and then compare it with pre-COVID results 2017 to 2019. So what was the impact of COVID-19 on CLIC? Let's set the stage. All of our US campuses went fully remote for the remainder of the spring semester in 20, in spring 20, and all of the fall semester 2020. In France, they switched between in person and remote learning as the COVID conditions fluctuated. So in spring 2020, the first COVID term, half of the six plan projects ran. Three projects ran with seven teachers, but three projects with nine teachers had to cancel. There were, and then in fall 2020, two projects ran. Both were first time projects with five first time teachers and one experienced click teacher. Sadly, three projects dropped as seven teachers had to meet other priorities. But together, they reached 107 students who all completed their final project successfully. And teachers still wanted to start clicking. We continued teacher training throughout the COVID 2020 semesters. And now in spring 21, five projects are already running or soon to start. So let's look at how the CLIC projects actually work. Sample one. In spring 2020, the switch to remote semester, at the start of the four week project, COVID 19 hit and everything had to shift to remote. How could student teams produce a final video or film project when their editing and filming tools were on campus out of reach to students? And the US students were club students, not for credit. The teachers decided to ask the students if they wanted to continue. It was unanimous, yes. The French US peer project was the high point of quarantine for the students. In the end, they used their phones and other technology at hand to create truly impressive videos, and they still met the goal of being completely understandable to both English and French speaking viewers. Rather than their pre COVID themes around art, music or politics, the videos showed a day in the life of students in the US and France, each team's video showing the different experiences of quarantine in both of their home communities. Two teachers in this project were new to click with a third experienced teacher shadowing and supporting them. And happily, all three are still excited to continue clicking and creating new projects with their students. Sample two, in fall 2020, the second COVID semester, both teachers were first time click teachers, one in France, one in the US with 20 students each. They expected to be completely remote, but their local conditions were not the same. So the US community colleges were totally online for the entire module. The French partners started with in-person instruction then moved online. They had planned their team building and learning activities to support student motivation and engagement. And they kept adapting as they went over the 11 week module. Students began by getting acquainted personally and professionally comparing life in quarantine confinement with both countries, learning what the French students do on their apprenticeships and then writing blog posts and agreeing on shared engineering topics. 
In the next six weeks, teams of four students researched their topics in depth and wrote scripts for a final explainer video. As the final capstone project, students presented their recorded formal explainer videos, sharing their new expertise with the other teams. From the blog post to the final explainer videos, students developed the ability to apply principles of engineering theory and refine their oral and written communication skills. Students also developed intercultural competence, online citizenship, and 21st century skills. Some of our CLIC teachers added a specific objective for the COVID-19 pandemic, that students undertake international projects for intercultural competence development in a period when almost all travel is prohibited. A good selling point for institutional interest focused on traditional mobility. And we always provide certificates because recognition is important. Certificates acknowledge student accomplishment, especially completing their capstone project successfully with their teammates in another country. Students receive two identical certificates, one in each language, and the certificates also confirm the teacher's pride in their students' work and keep the projects on the radar of campus leadership. In their post-click surveys, many students noted that one of the greatest rewards of the experience was the completion of the final capstone project and the overall module. Several students singled out the certificate as particularly significant recognition of their accomplishment and hard work. Teachers also chose different ways to make a special occasion of the certificates, especially during COVID, only after completing the capstone projects. They, um, in real time, as soon as the students finished their presentation, they released the certificates via email, push the button, boom, congratulations. They awarded certificates through screen sharing on Zoom, as you see here, and they uploaded certificates for each student to their learning platforms and then some celebrated by taking screenshots of all the students showing their certificates in a live video call. Others submitted selfies, but in general, they all celebrated collectively by posting their project learning experiences in their common space. So the samples show the results from the program perspective. Let's see what the students said about participating in CLIC during the global pandemic. We always start with goals and teaching teams draw on and add to these student learning goals to create their CLIC modules. By the end of a CLIC module, as you see on the slide, we expect students to have greater cross-cultural maturity, increased ability to deploy those 21st century skills, technology and teamwork, and we found it really works, increased confidence in finding their success in the global workforce. For each click module, we have pre and post project surveys to help us measure students results against these goals. They also reveal results for our teacher training and overall program. We draw on our information today from those surveys and at the end of the presentation, we'll revisit our results to goals during the COVID-19 pandemic. So let's take a look at some of the data. Teamwork. So one of the keys to click working is the teams, the student teams need to work. And this shows that the students overall agreed that they were not only prepared to work, but they also, the post results, that they did work well as teams. It's all in the positive direction with a few in the disagree probably because there was that one student who just wouldn't work as a team. So, but let's look at the spring 20 and fall 20 highlights on four other key questions that we ask in the post-click survey around cross-cultural and team skills. And let's see if you agree. In response to the statement, I enjoy interacting with students from another country, 90% of the students responded positively with 45 and 44 respectively marking agree and strongly agree. Or for I appreciate the value of different cultural perspectives, 94% responded positively. Again, mostly in the agree and strongly agree categories. Then in their perception of another culture and country, 85% of the students responded positively that the click module made a difference. 
again, strongly agreed, agreed. And finally, that they were prepared for the cultural aspects of collaboration with faculty peers at the partner institution, 86% were strongly positive, strongly and, and strong, 86% were strongly positive. Another one that we grapple with, of course, is we're working across time zones. And this is perhaps one of the biggest challenges for students who have never really moved outside their own time zone. So working across time zones is not only a goal, but a necessity for CLIC. It also provides a workforce benefit. So we added a question specifically on the ability to work across time zones. In the open-ended responses, many students remark that coordinating meetings with their peers across time zones is very challenging. Although it may have been difficult, nearly all students agreed or strongly agreed that they were able to work across time zones. They were proud of that in the end. This provides important data for us because though it was challenging, they were able to accomplish the task. We see this as a great learning opportunity for students who may be working with international business or collaborating with international colleagues through their careers. And regarding the impact of COVID-19, students were perhaps less rigid during the pandemic when most of their classes were online and mostly asynchronous. So Alexa, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what students are actually saying to us? Thanks, Nancy. All right, so we're gonna move into some of the qualitative results and see what students are saying. The quantitative results are great. They're informative, they provide key information for stakeholders, but the qualitative results really provide nuance to the Likert scale questions we saw previously. It gives students a chance to share more in-depth comments on their experience with CLIC. Let's see what they thought. In the post-CLIC students or survey, students are asked what was the biggest challenge and biggest reward of participating in the CLIC module. One student remarked that the biggest reward was being able to communicate with students from other nations, and my view and respect for them has increased dramatically. Another US student commented that, it was great to meet students from the IUT of So in France, but I am very glad to have met and worked with my teammates who are very kind and funny people. I appreciate this comment because it reminds us that not only are students getting experience working with international peers, but they are also collaborating locally with their classmates at their home institutions. And during COVID-19, when there was no in-person classroom interaction and less likely interaction with classmates overall, this is truly a great benefit of the project. Students commented on a few challenging aspects of the CLIC module as well. One said, Using our own resources was a pretty big challenge. While only one student commented on difficulty accessing resources, this is an important point to keep in mind when participating in virtual exchange during remote learning. Some teachers even told us that their students had to drive to the campus and sit in their cars to access the Wi-Fi from their school because their connections at home weren't sufficient. It's very important for teachers to check in with students to see what kind of technology access they have and not just in the beginning of the project because circumstances can change dramatically in three months. The students that participated in these projects were very motivated. And although they had to find creative ways to make it work, only one student remarked that technology was difficult in addition to the student who commented on limited resources. Other student challenges stemmed from collaborating on a project when another student is not participating fully or showing up to the meeting. And finally, another commented that not interacting face-to-face -face with people was difficult. So now let's turn to fall 2020 and see what challenges and rewards students cited then. Two students cited that it was most challenging to get an answer from other project members or overcome the weakness of a single group member. We did find that while nearly all of the students in the fall 20 modules were engaged, motivated, and enthusiastic about the CLIC module, there were a few individuals who lacked the motivation to participate as fully as their teammates would have liked. Another student commented on the language barrier, which is a very frequent challenge for students in virtual exchange as we have found in our survey results. This student writes that what was most challenging was the time and working with two Americans who speak English because my mother tongue is Arabic. So I have to speak English with my colleagues in the USA and French with my colleagues in France. It was a big challenge for me. 
This is an important consideration, and not only during fall 20, but in all semesters. For students whose native language is not that of the country in which they are living, virtual exchange can be even more challenging as they navigate three different languages. And now shifting to the rewards. Many students wrote quite long and complex answers considering the survey format they were given. One shared, the greatest reward for me was getting to interact with people from a different country. I've always wanted to get to know people from Europe and get to know more about their culture. I'm glad that we were able to create a friendship and hopefully in the near future, we can remain in contact and possibly meet when traveling isn't as complicated due to COVID. Another student uh, expressed that they would like to travel when global circumstances permit. The level of excitement, appreciation, and motivation in the student's voice is palpable. These are the reactions that drive us and teachers to keep pursuing CLIC even during complicated global circumstances. Finally, another student said that the biggest reward was meeting new people and learning about their culture, learning that I am more flexible than I thought, learning to adapt to meet the needs of others in terms of different languages, thoughts, ideas, suggestions, and not just focusing on what I want to do. Adaptation and flexibility are certainly key qualities to have during frequent and unexpected changes in learning environments. In addition to the challenges we just saw, there are a few others I'd like to point out. Technology access, as we have mentioned, is limited away from campus in some circumstances. This varies by home and sometimes by month for students. So again, teachers need to check in with students to make sure they have the access they need to complete the virtual exchange project. Many teachers also mentioned that they feel less connected to their students while teaching virtually, given that it, that is not the norm for them. Monitoring students while navigating the new virtual setting for their home courses could be quite challenging. Perhaps for this reason, we saw a few issues of student teams not feeling like the work was being shared fairly. Students and teachers alike are worn out from the amount of hours spent on Zoom. This makes it harder to motivate students to keep contacting each other and working with their peers. And finally, students remarked that time management was difficult for them, in addition to the normal time zone difficulties. A new remote setting adds different challenges, and with less structure, but just as many, or perhaps even more, assignments, students had trouble managing their time. However, there were also unique gains that we saw during this, these semesters. Students were motivated and inspired to work on their project. It provided an exciting learning experience for them. Additionally, the project-based learning worked well with remote learning. Amidst all the social, physical isolation, domestically and internationally, students enjoyed speaking with new connections and often made friends. And finally, students reported less technology difficulties than in past years, perhaps because they became better acquainted with platforms like Zoom in order to complete team meetings with their international peers. In summary, only two out of 79 students from the spring 2020 and fall 2020 semesters reported COVID-19 as the biggest challenge to completing a CLIC project. And only one out of 79 reported the lack of resources as the cha biggest challenge, in part because teachers designed and adjusted their designs to accommodate the shift to remote learning. They made swaps for technology that would be too hard to use and made sure their students would be able to navigate the tools needed. And now my colleague, Sarah, will share other reflections we've gathered from the students. Thank you, Alexa. So uh, all this information has been really great, really informative, and we have even more from beyond just the, sur the formal survey responses. And so in addition to the official survey responses that we've summarized here, students shared their thoughts on the experiences of the CLICK module through emails to teachers and additional intentional reflection assignments. And so here you can see a few highlights from those responses. And in general, students commented heavily on the value of relationship building, the social bonding, uh, finding things in common with their cross-cultural counterparts and really engaging in the similarities and differences between their cultures and developing collaboration and communication skills. So, uh, what we want to know, especially, is how does this data compare to the years 2017 to 2019 before uh, the click modules that were carried out during COVID-19? So from what we can gather, uh, there was less difficulty communicating during the COVID semesters. 
Fewer students reported, at least, that communication was their biggest challenge from fall 2019 to fall 2020. So this is likely due to increased comfort and ease of using technologies like Zoom and WhatsApp, as Alexa has mentioned, uh, as well as generally having to communicate remotely and being more comfortable with these tools. According to our post-click survey results, students during the COVID semesters found the completion of the final project to be more rewarding. The number of students who reported successfully finishing the final project as their greatest reward from the module increased from 8% in fall 2019 to 13% in spring 2020 and 25% in fall 2020. So we attribute this large jump to the difficulty of working remotely, which led to additional pride that students felt in achieving success in this project. As we can see here, uh, the number of students who reported getting to know other students, making friends, connections, collaborating with international peers as the biggest reward has stayed very steady over the past two years, with 33 to 35% of students citing it as the biggest reward. Students are enjoying this aspect just as much as in past years, which is especially important during the isolating periods of quarantine. So as mentioned, the relational and social aspect of these click modules has been even more important during COVID. Uh, and our first two graphs here show significant increases in positive responses between the pre-COVID era and the 2020 year. So in this first graph, we see a big uptick in agree and strongly agree to the statement, I enjoy interacting with students from other countries. And in the second graph, responding to the question or the statement through the click learning module experience, I made connections with students in another country that I will maintain beyond this course. Uh, during initial quarantine and the subsequent months, students experienced more enjoyment, actually, uh, in interacting with their international partners, and they felt confident that these friendships could continue beyond the end of their course and their click module. So we've heard actually from one spring 2020 teacher in France that her student has kept in touch over the last year with his partner in Connecticut and recently even asked him to revise his CV for the job market. And so we can see how these friendships really do have the potential to continue after the click module is over. And so finally, in our last graph here, uh, students have felt significantly more prepared for the cultural aspects of collaboration with faculty and students at the partner institution in the year 2020 than they have in previous years. So we want to stress, of course, that these are correlations. We can't uh, precisely decipher the causation for the results in this graph and in our previous data. However, I think the results we see demonstrate a point that is twofold. On one hand, we've improved our training especially regarding preparation for cross-cultural collaboration and intercultural competence, which is reflected in the high results for year four versus years one through three in this graph. But also it shows that even when classes are taught entirely remotely, teachers are still able to adequately prepare students for that collaboration, which is key. In addition, participants were able to commiserate on the challenges of COVID with their international partners, discussing the differences in their lives in quarantine, uh, perhaps the different policies of each of their regions, which perhaps indicates that the shared experience deepened their relationships. So while we have uh, chosen to focus this presentation on the student perspective, we'd also like to briefly share a few key points from the teacher data that we collected. So just as we do for students, we have three key goals at Gazelle International for teachers, which are listed here on this slide. Uh, first, we want them to gain a significant professional development experience. Um, we want them to develop collegial networks beyond the classroom. And we uh, aspire for the increased value of faculty's language and international talents beyond the normal departmental reach. And so in their post-click survey that faculty members also fill out, Teachers noted many, many, many great successes of the project, such as professional development, the creation of their final objectives and project design, completing the project right alongside their students, improving their students' confidence, uh, or even team teaching for the first time and being able to fill that gap in their professional development. So even during COVID-19, teachers were thrilled with the successes of the project and of their students. And one 2020 teacher noted that she was most proud of happy, engaged students. They work diligently with a smile. As is often the case, some of the greatest challenges lead to the greatest successes as we overcome them. And so one French teacher explained that the most significant challenge during the CLIP project was keeping regular contact with students while they were working in their apprenticeships and after the switch to remote learning. 
but that the greatest success was students' enthusiasm despite their complicated schedule with the change to online teaching. Teachers also emphasized the value of building relationships, just as the students did, especially in a COVID environment, making new global partners and maintaining friendships during what can be a lonely and isolating time. So to illustrate the success of the teamwork between Gazelle International and our faculty partners, we wanted to share that 100% of the COVID era teachers are planning to repeat. And 11 out of 13 of them were brand new to virtual exchange. And this was their first experience. Despite the challenges that COVID-19 has presented, they are ready to continue and are encouraged by the benefits that virtual exchange has afforded them and their students. I'll pass it on now to Nancy uh, so she can share with us the key takeaways. So what can we take away? Let us end with our four key takeaways from working with these wonderful teachers and students during the COVID-19 pandemic. Technology, students and teachers alike are comfortable with the required expertise in the tools they use. They're collaborating remotely on projects and it's becoming easier and the collaboration is stronger. Communication, communication skills are improving as we get used to the new technologies in this ever more digital world but it is still one of the most highly reported challenges, difficulties in our click modules. The lesson is teachers really need to plan to prepare their students for these challenges and help suggest ways to address them. Resources, you can make click project, you can make a click project work with very limited resources and students are incredibly adaptable. Motivation, as you've just heard, especially both teachers and students are eager to keep clicking because the relationships, even through COVID, perhaps especially through COVID, are what matter and click makes it possible. So what will you take away from this session? Please stay in touch. Tell us on social media or directly by email. Follow, us, follow along on social media for more success stories, suggestions, events. And please contact us for a free brainstorming session for the 2021 conference attendees. Let us help you get started with virtual exchange. And thank you for joining our presentation. We look forward to continuing the conversation and hopefully start clicking.